What's good everybody, DJ Techromancer here, where I'm not behind the DJ decks, I'm playing video games. However, today, it's a tech video. And you know, around this time of year, either if it's during the holidays or the beginning of the year, I always look for a new phone service. So, some of y'all saw the video where I had gotten Unreal, also known as Freedom Pop, for a fo cheap phone service for my phone some while back. I didn't get to do a video beginning of last year, but I got out of Unreal. The service was horrible. It, it, it got to the point where the at first customer service was really good, but then it got to the point where you could not reach anyone or get anyone on chat, and it was really bad. And it, I caught hell trying to leave them to go to Tello, which that's what I ended up doing. Tello was great. Great customer service, great features for your phone. You got visual voicemail, you got the uh, hotspot. You basically got everything you wanted on a smartphone if you got an unlocked smartphone. And what's great about Tello is that you can also customize your plans to your needs. So I was originally, I had customized it to where I was paying only 20 a month, but I needed a little bit more because when pandemic hit, I started door dashing. Uh, make some extra cash and make ends meet. So bumped it up to about 24 a month. So I was getting uh, six gigs of data and stuff, which was plenty and was great until I got closer to the holidays. When I got closer to the holidays, a lot of people started calling me and stuff while in the midst of door dashing. And unfortunately, that's when my main problem hit. So if you don't know, Tello uses Sprint Towers. And Sprint Towers, if you know anything about cell phone technology, you got CDMA and GSM. And CDMA technology is great and all and works well, but you cannot make a phone call and use app data at the same time. So it's kind of like single tasking, fo focusing, which was fine at first until like I started getting people the call like my mom and my friend Marcus and some of this stuff was like time sensitive and it's like oh but I'm trying to multitask and it's just it wasn't happening so with that I decided to switch out and try something else that I've heard a lot about last year happy new year by the way 2021 and that is hello mobile hello mobile uses both t-mobile or Sprint Towers, but it, it doesn't switch off like you think it would. What happens is when you order your SIM card, Hello Mobile themselves will pick, do you get a T-Mobile card or do you get a Sprint Tower card? So just letting you know, know out there because there's a lot of people that probably went out there, gotten Hello Mobile and was expecting They'd be on T-Mobile uh, MNVO uh, towers and was like, yo, I'm not using those towers. I'm using Sprint towers and I'm not getting my ability to use app data and cellular at the same time. What's going on? That's what's going on. So let's so, say, so you know, Hello Mobile does do that. Hello Mobile's customer service is not as good as Tello. I, I caught a little bit of a, a headache trying to transfer my number out of Tello to Hello Mobile. But I will say that Hello Mobile does value their customers because with all the headache and everything that I had at the time, Hello Mobile was doing a promo where if you were a new customer and you got their service, you got a month free. But due to the fact that I was having a headache with transferring my number over, and it took them over a week, it took them about two weeks actually, to get my number transferred into Hello Mobile, they gave me an extra month. So now, where originally I would have had to play, pay sometime around the end of January for my next bill, I don't have to pay until the end of February, which is actually really nice. So I give them props for that. So that was cool on them. Now, as for features and call quality, call quality sounds great. 
Um, well, I use the iPhone 6s for that. Call quality is great. I'm, I can use my app data and cellular at the same time. They don't have visual voicemail though. They have old school uh, voicemail, which I know I'm spoiled. I got spoiled by visual voicemail. It's all good. But you know, it, it's been kind of interesting going back to old school uh, voicemail. So it's all good. They still have hotspot though, which is good. Uh, you know, it's nice to be just be able to like, bloop, uh, hotspot and it's all good. No Wi-Fi calling though. And I wish more and more places would be like, hey, yeah, we don't allow you to do Wi-Fi calling. They don't allow you to do Wi-Fi calling. That kind of sucks. But you know, you know, eh, eh, you, you got unlimited service. So do you really need Wi-Fi calling? Even though I don't know what the data cap is on their unlimited, you know, most places, um, they do a data cap either at five, sometimes 10 gigs, and then they slow down your data rate. I have not looked into the data cap into Hello Mobile. I can look it up later and post it if y'all like. So, according to Best MNDO, the data is up to 15 gigs, and then you get unlimited 2G. Just a FYI, but I was surprised because uh, they have 5G now. When I signed up, it was just set 4G, but they got 5G now. Um, I can't test it off the 6S. I would have to test it off of this bad boy, but I can't technically. I could, but technically I cannot unlock this phone until my mom pays it off. Now, once she pays it off, you know, it's free reign and it's all good under the sun. But I have to wait to that and then I can test it and stuff. Now, one thing I wish, because since I have this phone and you could do eSIM on this, I wish there was more MVNO providers that was doing eSIM. There are some, some companies that do eSIM, but it's more for data. So like if I took my, my iPad here, I could eSIM that and put data on that and don't have to use Wi-Fi. I can just that. But I wish my own other than the big three. The big three, of course, eSIM. But I just wish, mm, mm. But it is what it is. So I just want to give you that update. But yeah, they say unlimited, but I don't know what the data cap is. Whereas when I was with Tello, uh, I had customized my plan to about six gigs, which was actually plenty for me. And worked great. I never actually like used up all, all my data except for twice, twice. And that's because of the situation with my apartment here where uh, the, all everything in my living room is currently dead. It's still dead actually. So I had to move majority of my stuff to my bedroom. And yeah, so my computer is in here. I, I didn't even move my PlayStation nor my TV. I was just like, leave that there. They need to fix this, and then I'll figure all that out. But it is what it is. So for a short period of time before I like finally was able to move my internet and all that, I was using a lot of my phone data, and I was tethering it to my iPad, which I got a keyboard to, to you know, surf the web and get work done and stuff like that so hey hey goes to show you real life real life application if you need your cell data and you need it in a pinch it will work so I can definitely say that so um, my take if you got an unlocked phone or a new phone like I did this Christmas I now have am a proud owner of a 12 Pro Max Mom hook boy up. But, but, unfortunately, I have to wait until this phone is paid off. It's currently under T-Mobile. So guess what? No more uh, MNVOs, but I get to keep this phone. So I don't know. I might test some other MNVOs for you all out there. If you have any questions or anything about any other MN the MNVO services, I've used a lot of them. Uh, I've used Mint. 
I've used Simple Talk. I've used this one that's basically like Boost Mobile, but they rebranded it a different name. But I've used a lot of them out there. So if you have any questions or comments, throw them down. I'll try to answer them promptly and so forth and so on. Also, give me a like. I tend to do tech, gaming, vlogs, and hopefully soon back to my DJ grind. I have to basically find me a new laptop because both my main laptop and my backup laptop are basically fried. Uh, the graphics cards on both of them are like, and yeah, I'm like, they still technically work, but you can't, you can only use it for a short period of time before it gets hot. And then it's like, Bloop. so I could fix it myself, but basically that just means replacing a whole logic board. And since those are older computers, I do better just looking out, trying to find an old model that someone took care of and just grabbing it and swapping uh, my hard drive and the RAM out myself. Sorry, I'm, 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 yeah, 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 I'm getting off track. But anyway, yeah, give me a like, subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and stay gaming, my friends.